What is up guys, Claude Gameplay here and today I'm updating you guys with some more Black Ops 2 information and today's video it is the official weapon list for Black Ops 2. Starting off we have the assault rifles, which is the AN94, SMR, M8A1, Type 25, SA58, SIG556 and the SCAR H. First off we have the AN94 which is a fully automatic high capacity and mid power assault rifle, it's a decent all arounder and a good starting point for newcomers. The reason why I'd say it is good for newcomers is because of the low recoil that is associated with the high damage output for this gun. Next we have the SMR which is semi-automatic rifle that packs a mean punch with high damage bursts. It's also a little slow and cumbersome, so one for long range pinpoint accuracy. After that we have the M8A1 which is the main ally weapon previously known as the XM8. It's a distant relative of the M4A1 with similar hipfire accuracy and mid range usefulness, but fires a 4 round burst. Then we have the Type 25 which is another recognizable firearm under the new disguise. This fully auto automatic assault rifle is just like the Type 95 in Modern 3 post patch and is a high rate of fire and low recoil uh, weapon. Then we have the SA58 which is a new addition to the game. This assault rifle has great strength, it is a light recoil and range. It takes some mastering but packs some decent damage with a decent range and it's definitely worth your consideration. Then we have the SLG 556 which is one of the most powerful additions to Black Ops 2's weapon list. The SLG 556 fires powerful 3 round bursts that reward accuracy. No very newbie friendly but it is very comfortable for veteran players. Then we have the SCAR H. The SCAR's range of assault rifles has become a firm favorite with fans and once again it is a fully automatic and has amazing stats all around like all the other past Call of Duties. Going to the shotguns, we have the M1216 and the R870 MCS and the Sega 12. So starting off with the M1216 is a fully automatic and firing 4 quick shots for mid damage before switching chambers. It's not too bad at mid range either. Then we have the Sega 12 which is a semi-automatic shotgun with great short range disc damage and a fast and deadly option for runners. Next, we have the R870 MCS, which is a pump action shotgun. The picture is from Battlefield and I think it will look almost identical to that. And has crazy damage with decent range and speed. One for someone that's going to get quick kills, one, two, three, and not spraying around, making those accurate shots. Next, we have the LMGs, which is the LSAT, the QBB LSW, and the MK48. So starting off, we have the LSAT, which is a versatile, fully automatic LMG with good stats all around. It's not particularly potent at long range, but it absolutely tears through enemies up close. So it has a high rate of recoil. Then we have the QBB LSW, which is another weapon with familiar name. The QBB functions almost identically to the L86 LSW in Modern Warfare 3. It is also the highest rate of fire in the LMG class. Next we have the MK48, which is the clear choice in this category. The fully automatic MK48 deals out decent damage at all ranges and does not have a very high amount of recoil. Going into the sniper rifles, which is definitely my favorite out of all the guns, is the DSR-50, the SVUAS, and the Ballista. So the DSR-50 was seen in the trailer, and it's right here. It is a very, very powerful bolt-action rifle that will stop any enemy dead in their tracks with a well-aimed shot from at least the waist up. Next is the SVUAS, which is a good choice if you want to reduce your recoil, and this semi-automatic sniper is low on damage but has a fire rate that is high. Next we have the Ballista, which is another bolt-action sniper rifle with a deadly blast. Its best feature is fast handling speeds, which you get few kills and sticky situations. Then we have the SMGs. In the submachine gun category, it is the MP7, the Chikom CQB, the PW57, the Scorpion Evo 3, and the MSMC. So starting off with the MP7, it is making a huge return from Modern Warfare 3. Probably one of my favorite guns in Modern Warfare 3 coming into the new game. It's a very versatile, strong choice for any player. Low rate of recoil and moderate damage. Then the Chikom CQB is a new addition to the weapon list. 
This features a 3 round burst and has a high rate of fire with not a crazy amount of damage. Next is the PDW57, which is apparently a beast in this category from sources that have actually been playing the game. It's a fully automatic with long range and the largest ammo capacity in the SMG class. Then we have the Scorpion Evo 3, which is a popular choice during uh, the multiplayer bouts uh, at Gamescom. Fully automatic with the highest rate of fire in its class and is absolutely devastating at close range, but is not the greatest at long range, but can do alright at mid range. Next, and a last in the SMG category is the MSMC, which is another new entry. This fully automatic M SMG is designed for long range and has a very, very low rate of recoil. Next, we are moving into the secondary weapons that you can choose from. So first off, there's the pistols, the KAP-40, the Chris Card, the M1911, the Raging Judge, and the TAC-45. I will let you guys just look through these weapons because there isn't a whole lot to talk about for the pistols. And after that, we have the secondary launchers, and there'll be three of those as well. So if you guys did enjoy this video, please do give it a like and a favorite and comment what you guys are most excited for in Black Ops 2 relating to the weapons. This took a ton of work setting up and making all of these pictures and everything, giving you guys all the greatest information that I could. If you guys want all of the latest Black Ops 2 information when it comes out, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I just hit 70,000 subscribers thanks to you guys. You guys are all absolutely amazing. And I hope you guys have a fantastic day. But anyways, I am called Gameplay. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you guys next time. Peace.